Hey guys, so today I wanted to answer a viewer's question. She was cu uh, curious how to read a smocking plate. So I actually have a book with smocking plates. I very rarely reference them and I really should do it more often. This was, this rose is all around, it's really a pretty smocking plate. This is one that I made for Audrey when she was an infant. It's actually the first dress she ever wore um, after she was born. And so I've got this whole book of them. There are things you can buy. There's also, you can go on the Pinterest and get inspired there. You can combine, you know, part of one with another. Like, there's so many combinations for smocking. There's picture smocking and all the rest of it. But, um, let's just get to one. Let me find one that has a range of things in here so you can go over. Here we go. This is a good one. So, this smocking plate. If you were to have this in front of you, how do you read it? Well, it's got the different rows, and you can see the rows are numbered over here. Um, these, that looks to me, although it's not very clear, uh, maybe it says it in the wording if it's half spaces or whole spaces, but that looks like a whole space to me, and then from like the bottom of two to the top of three looks like a half space. Um, any rate, might, that might be in the literature. I'm not terribly familiar with Splunky Plates if I don't use them a ton. But number one, that would be the cable stitch. And I have a whole video that goes over how to smock. I'll leave that one down below. It has all of the geometric stitches that I have ever seen. So it's all different combinations of those stitches in that video. And you can see like number two is a trellis. Okay, that's going to be a one step trellis. Number three is a trellis mixed in with some cable stitches. So there's a trellis as it goes down, a one-step trellis, then it's got some cable stitches, and then it has some more one-step trellis before it gets to those cable stitches. And then you just, you could count the stitches that are on your plate to know how many to do. And you can see it, you need number four. Number four's got a row of the, um, it's kind of like a cable um, flower, if you will, or a picture smock uh, flower, depending on how you look at it. I'm not really sure what the name is, but it's just like, it's a flower where you would do a cable stitch, a, you know, three of them on one side and then three on the other side and it back to back, it's back to back and it will make a flower. Now, because number four skips a lot of plates on that design, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to back smock. Same with row seven down here, eight. Um, you're going to want to back smock that area too so the pleats are nice and tidy. So that in a nutshell is how to read a smocking plate. I hope it's helpful. I hope it answers the viewer's question. Um, if you have any questions, put them down below and I will do my best to answer them. And as always, I appreciate y'all for watching and I hope to catch y'all next time.